Amen. Good morning and welcome to the Mount Calvary Worship Service live. We are online and we're live with you on this morning. We give God the praise, give God the glory, and give God the honor on this blessed Sunday morning. He's been good to us. He's been kind and he's been gracious to us. We welcome all of you to our live stream service on this morning at Mount Calvary as we go to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. God, we give you glory. God, we give you honor on this blessed day. We thank you for another day's journey. How you allowed us to sleep last night and woke us up on due time and brought us to a brand new day. Oh, God, you get the praise and you get the glory and you get the honor. We pray now, Lord, that you would just move by a mighty way, oh, God. Touch your people across this world and across this land. Bless them what they stand in the need of right now, Father. God, you know all about the situation and their circumstance, oh, Father God. We just ask you to touch it right now, Father God, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, Father. Look on those that are sick, God, those that are shut in, those that are bound, God, those that need a special prayer on the day, Father. We pray that you would just touch them in a special way. In the mighty name of Jesus, that you would get the praise, that you would get the glory, that you would get the honor, Father. Dip them down in your power and your anointing, oh, Father God. And we thank you for another day's journey that you woke us up. We saw our eyes, saw a brand new day. Thank you that we're able to come and worship you, Father God, by the means of online stream right now, Father. We give you thanks for it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless your people right now, God. Lift them up, encourage them, oh, Father God. Look on the bereaved family today, Father God. Strengthen them in their hour loss. Bless them what they stand in the need of right now, Father. And, Lord, we just give your name the praise and we give your name the glory and we give your name the honor, God. We just commend this service into your hands that you would the praise and you get the glory. In Christ Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. Come on, y'all. We're going to give God glory. We're going to give God praise because there's nothing like giving God praise on a Sunday morning. And we here at Calvary know that God is an awesome God and he will do just what he said. And we ain't worried this morning because God got it all in his hands. Can't nobody Amen. do us like Jesus can. Oh, yeah. And for that, we give him glory. We give him honor and we give him praise. Can't nobody do me like Jesus, can't nobody do me like the Lord, can't nobody do me like Jesus because he's my friend. Come on and help us say, can't nobody oh, oh, oh. do me like Jesus, can't nobody do me like the Lord, do me like the Lord. Oh, oh, oh. The Lord, do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. Oh. He, oh, he picked me up. Pick me up. Told me to run on. Nobody 
rock me like Jesus. Come Can't on. Can't nobody rock me like Jesus. Can't nobody rock me like Jesus. Can't Say. nobody rock me like Jesus. Can't nobody love 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 me like Jesus. Can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Say, can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Oh, can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Let me hear you say, nobody. Nobody. Say, nobody. Nobody. Nobody do us like Jesus. Amen. Because truly, he is our friend. Amen. We ought to give God praise and give God glory and give God honor for that. Amen. Knowing that can't nobody do us like the Lord. Amen. We're amen. coming to you live stream here at the Greater Mount Carey Missionary Baptist Church located 3835 White Rotter Road. Amen. Due to the uh, coronavirus, we're not having any public, amen, open public service. But we're here praising the Lord online live stream. You can join us on Wednesday night, Word, at 7 o'clock p.m. And on Sunday morning at 10.15 a.m., amen, online live. Our, amen, link is www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash live, L-A-L-I-V-E. That's www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash L-I-V-E live. That's Wednesday night word at 7 o'clock p.m. And on Sunday mornings, until further notice, at 10, 15 a.m., we'll come to you live from the sanctuary. Why not take this opportunity in this time to give your offerings, amen, online. You can also give by going to the link, www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash giving, V-I-V-I-N-G, V-G-I-V. I N G, Amen. Giving, Amen. You can go to that link www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash giving, G I V I N G, Amen. Also, you can download the app Giblify. That's G I V E L I F Y. Giblify app from your on your phone. You can also give your offerings that way. And if you're not, Amen, cannot give online or cannot give through the app. Come on by the church even now as our designated deacons are standing by in our front parking lot, amen, to receive your tithes and your offer. We thank you for staying connected with the Lord in my Calvary through, amen, our online live stream service. Amen. Wednesday night, we'll see you at 7 o'clock p.m. and also every Sunday until further notice at 1015 here at my Calvary, amen, streaming live, coming to you, amen, live from my sanctuary. God bless you. As we hear another, amen, great and uplifting song from our praise team and our musician here at Calvary. Amen.
is not about me, but it's all about him. I'm living to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. It's not about me, but it's all about him. I'm living to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. It's not about me, but it's all about about him. I'm living living to see Jesus. I I want to see Jesus. It's not about about me, but it's all about Can I get a witness out there? 
this morning, wherever you are right there, all over the world, I want to let you know, I want to let you know, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. I also want you to know, I really, 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 really want to see you, really want to someday. Amen. We want to see Jesus. We're working on amen, to see the Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Someday we'll see the Lord. Amen. The God get the praise and God get the glory and he get the honor. We bless him on today. We honor all of you in your respective places all across the world and across the land to all our leaders of our Hallelujah. church here at Mount Calvary. Amen. To all our ministers and minister wives and deacons, deaconesses, to my wife Amen. Lady Evelyn Diane Vinson, to all of God's people that are here to lift up the name of Jesus all across this land. Our scripture on today is coming from Psalms, the 27th division of Psalms, in verse 13, Psalms 27, and verse number 13. Amen. Just want to give you what the Lord had laid nearest to our hearts. Amen. And this possibly could be a two part, amen, sermon series, but just want to talk with you just a few moments about Psalms 27 and 13 where David said I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living to wait on the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen our heart wait I say on the Lord Father we thank you Father we give you praise and God we give you glory we give you honor on this blessed Sunday morning we thank you that we're able to come Lord we thank you that we had a mind to come thank you for those that are tuning in online Live right now, Father, thank you that you would just go through, God, the ways and all the, the avenues, oh, God, and touch them right now, Father. God, you can go we can't go. You can do what we can't do. And for that, we thank you right now, Father. Bless them right now, Father, what they're standing in need of. God, give us the word that there are all your people standing in need of, that we don't get any praise, that we don't get any glory, but all the praise and all the glory belongs to you. Father, give us preaching and teaching power in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for it. And we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God, word for God. People, Psalms 27, the vision of Psalms, verse 13 and 14. David said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. But he said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. He shall strengthen our heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. David here, amen, in our text is encouraging the people of God. And I come, amen, to encourage you on today. By the subject matter of tell of the goodness of the Lord. Tell of the goodness of the Lord. We got the tell of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Has the news about the spread of the coronavirus made many of you nervous? The coronavirus began in China and it spread across the world. The world Organization has labeled as a pandemic, meaning it's dangerous and quickly. Amen. Spreading across the globe. At first, we watched the sadness of we learned of thousands dying in China. And we heard reports that the virus had found ways to other countries. We became more concerned, amen, for those on cruise ships and, and trapped, amen, in vacation spots, now vulnerable to disease and seems unstoppable. We knew that it was coming close when the entire nation of Italy went on lockdown. But some 
felt safe in the United States because the ports were closed. In addition, immigration entry points and airplane flights were shut down, councils and closed. Then we started to see the reports of the snowballing presence of the virus in the United States. The blame game began. Democrats blame the president. The president blame Congress. Everyone started blaming each other. Still, many people were reluctant to accept the seriousness of the, the problem. That is, until it started to touch home. Air, all airplane flights to Europe, major parades along political rallies and marches were canceled. We knew it was very serious when the NBA shut down its remaining games. We knew it was serious when the stock market began to crash. <laughs> we knew it was serious when some of our mega churches switched their worship service as we are online live stream. Yeah, the Center of the Disease Control is working with the World Health Organization to slow down the spread of the disease while scientists develop a vaccine to stop its growth. While the world waits, what should the faithful do? The question is, while the world waits, what should the faithful do? We should follow the safety instructions that we have been given and trust God for deliverance. The, biblical rec the Bible records in the case that when the death angel came through Egypt, that the faithful were told to mark their doorways with the blood of the lamb, to prepare a meal and wait for the salvation of the Lord. There was weeping and wailing all around them. And even some in Israel did not see the protection of the Lord. Amen. The blood were among the mourners. The record also indicates that Noah's family was instructed to come into the ark because of an unseen storm and flood was coming. The family followed God's instruction and waited in a year-long quarantine until it was safe to walk on dry ground. The record also reminds us that the disciples were on a boat in the middle of a storm, and someone asked Jesus, cares not that we perish. Their faith was renewed when Jesus spoke to the wind and the waves and said, peace, be still. While we wait for the terrible pandemic to pass, faith must not fail. I said, while we wait, the faithful must not faint. Even in challenging and frightful and terrifying times, God is still good. He is still in control. Working through the great minds of the world on his own volition. God will speak to this pandemic as he spoke to the cold pandemic of 1899, to the Spanish flu of 1918, to the Hong Kong flu of 1968. He spoke to Ebola and HIV, and SARS were identified and contained and now are under control. We wait because unlike epidemics and pandemics is worldwide, there is no place to hide. We wait because, amen, the pandemics have novel or new components with we no known vaccine. It's taken months to develop as we known it comes to a halt. Even while we wait, we remind ourselves of the goodness of the Lord. Even while we wait and follow medical Instructs we know no disease or force on earth can destroy the people of God. Even as things go wrong, we remind ourselves that God is still good God all the time. And all the time, God is good. As Christians, we remain faithful that our God is able to deliver us from whatever temptation and frustration we face. And as we wait in faith, those that who are in the, in the storm are, weather, are reminded it meant that God can weather any storm. He has weathered many storms, and this too shall pass. Yeah, the text this morning reflects on David's explanation of how he emotionally Reminds us that the best solace in the difficult time is God's confidence. 
because of faith in God. It's the best medicine for all seasons. Faith is grounded in one truth, that all things work together for the good of those who are called according to God. No matter what happens, whether the storm or wind, sun, shine, or rain, good times are pestilent. God has both our bodies and our souls in his hand. It's difficult times, David writes, he would have fainted in his faith had he not allowed him to look through the threats of danger he experienced, see the goodness of the Lord. I say David said in these difficult times, he would write that he might have fainted through, amen, allowed him to look through the threats of danger and experience to see the goodness of the Lord. He saw tragedy around him, but faith allowed him also to see the goodness of the Lord. He saw the dark, amen, losses around him, but he also how God shine brightly in dark places. He resolved to wait patiently on the Lord as we remember the goodness of the greatness of God. I come by to tell you on this morning that you need to, amen, be resolved and learn how to wait on the patience and wait patiently on the Lord and remember the goodness and the greatness of God. I say remember the goodness and the greatness of God. Why? Because, amen, even though we must tell of the goodness of the Lord, even in times like this, we still must tell of the goodness of the Lord, how he brought you from a mighty, mighty long way, how he brought you from yesteryear to the day. Amen. You need to still tell of the goodness of the Lord. How we tell of the goodness of the Lord because, amen, tell of the power of God. When difficult come and increase our faith to give the witness, amen, and tell the truth of God and know that the power of God. We can lean heavily on the power of God in difficult situations. Often in emergencies, we learn how much we are dependent on the power of God. The old timers were no theologians, but they were quick to acknowledge them when natural circumstances were beyond them and out of their control. When tornadoes or winds came or floodwaters rolled, they learned to wait patiently, amen, for God to move. Some ordered the members of the families and their household to sit still during the storms and wait for God to do his work and to push past the storm. They sat comfortably because they knew the power of God. Standing at the Red Sea, the people of God, amen, of Israel remembered as they stood at the banks of the sea when Pharaoh's army was approaching them. However, Moses stood confidently and commanded them to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. In these difficult times, my brothers and sisters, the entire world is uneasy. It's on the verge of panic. But yet the faithful like the old timers are taking the necessary precaution and waiting on the confidence that God would do his thing as he always has done. I say that God would do his thing that he always has done. And we got to learn how to stand faithfully and wait on the name of the Lord. See, we need some of them faithful old timers, amen, to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord and tell of the goodness of the Lord. The faithful are not foolish. Don't misunderstand me. The faithful are not foolish. We, we do what we should do, and we do what should be done. But we are not panicking because we know of the restorative power of Jesus Christ. He will work it out in his own time. Whether he uses, amen, health agencies or vaccines or doctors or hospitals, God will work it out in his own time. And we have seen him work in the Bible. We have seen him work in our life experiences. I'm talking about the power of of God. We live in all of the power and lean heavily upon him for our deliverance. That's why a man, the songwriter, put it in these words, leaning, leaning safely, insecure from all alarms, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms of God. I come by to tell you this morning that you got to learn how to wait on the power of God. Amen. The power of God will do what no other power will do. The power of God will deliver what no other power will deliver. The power of God will save what no other power will save. The power of God will turn situation around where no other power will turn it around. You can't wait on government power. You can't wait on a stimulus package. You can't wait, amen, on your neighbor to, to bring you through. You can't wait on family and friends to come through. 
But you got to wait on the power of God. And you got to tell of the goodness of the Lord everywhere that you go. Yeah, it's going on. The pandemic is going on. But God is still yet on the throne. And, and God still got the power to do what he said he can do and will do and can do. And you got to trust in the power of God because God got the power. And I come to let you know that if he got the power, everything else will work out just fine. Just hang on in there. Don't you panic. Don't you panic. Don't you panic. Don't you push the panic button. But hang on to the power of God. Why? Because that power woke you up this morning. That power started you on your way. That power been keeping you down the years of your life. You didn't break yourself, amen, by yourself. But the Lord gave you power to get where you're at in life. God gave you power to gain. God gave you power to hold on just a little while longer. And you got to reach out to the power source that is Jesus Christ. Because he got the power to do anything in your life. He got the power to turn it around and make everything all right. He got the power, amen, to move, amen, any disease, any problem. And just don't focus on, amen, the pandemic of the coronavirus. But whatever's going on in your life, you got to know that God got the power. And why God got the power, you ought to tell of his goodness of the Lord. You ought to wait on the Lord and let the Lord work it out in due time. Because he will work it out at the right time in the right place. You got to learn how to hold on just a little while longer. And hold on to the power of God. I didn't say Georgia power. I didn't say call quit power. I didn't say Atlanta power. But I said God's power. His power ain't never went out. His power ain't never been late. His power ain't never been dim. His power ain't never let us down. But hold on to the power of God and tell of the goodness of the Lord. That the Lord been good to you. Tell somebody the Lord been good to you. That he brought you from a mighty long way. And if he brought you from a mighty long way don't worry about what tomorrow may bring. Don't worry about what next week may bring. Don't worry about what the world is saying. Don't worry about what the news board is saying. But say God got the power. He got the power. God got the world in his whole hand. He got the power to change things. He got the power to move things. He got the power to resurrect things. He got the power to do great and awesome things. Thank you, God, for your power. Power. Power, Lord. Lord, we need your power in a day like this. You can't rely on nothing else, but you can rely on the power of Almighty God. You can't rely on other things, but you can rely on the power of God. Power! Power, Lord. He got the power. Don't lose your power. Don't lose your power, but stay connected with the power of God. Stay connected with the power of God, because you're going to need it in a day like this. When the devil is bringing everything your way, when he's telling you to give up and throw in the tower, you're going to need the power of God. When people say you're crazy for going and giving God the praise and giving God the glory, baby, you crazy for believing this, and you're crazy for believing that. But I come to tell you, God was here before the coronavirus got here, and God is here now, and God to be here after that but because you got the power of God on the inside and you ought to tell somebody that God has been good to you you ought to tell somebody that God has been great to you you ought to tell somebody how awesome is your God how great is your God how great is your God how great is your God Will do it. He will do 
I don't know how you feel, but I came to testify that the Lord has been good to me. Has he been good to you? That the Lord is working it out. Is he working it out for you? That the Lord is going to see us through. Has he seen it through for you? Don't worry, but tell him his goodness. If you just tell it and let the world know that joy to the world, the Lord is yet on the throne, joy to the world, and joy to you, because weeping may endure for a night, but joy, 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 come in the morning, come in the morning, come in the morning, hallelujah, hallelujah, Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. May heaven keep you is our prayer. We're saying farewell for now, and we'll see you later. But tune in on Wednesday night for Wednesday Word, and on Sundays at 1015 for morning worship service here at Mount Calvary. Don't forget our link is www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash Live, L I V E, W W dot worship with M T Calvary dot O R G forward slash L I V. And you have an opportunity to give to this great ministry here at Calvary at our link, W W worship with M T dot Calvary dot O R G forward slash giving, G I V I N G. You have the opportunity to give. Download the app. Givelify to your phones and give your offerings to the Lord. You might not be here in person, but you're here in spirit and in financial support to God's work and his ministry. Maybe someone out there in live stream land that don't know the Lord and the pardon of your sin and you need salvation. All you got to do is simply pray the prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life, forgive me for my sins and my transgression. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Then you too are part of the body of Christ. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. God, we give you glory for this great day. We thank you that we still have something to tell of your goodness and how you have blessed us and how you have brought us from a mighty long way. God, you're a great God. You're an awesome God. And God, we're trusting and believing in you. You got the answer. You got the antidote. You got the vaccine. You got the healing in the palm of your hand. And Father, we pray now, Lord, that your people would just turn to you and lean and depend on you. Keep us, Father God, covered under your blood, under your power, and under your anointing. From all hurt, harm, and danger, seen and unseen. From the evil forces of this world. And Father, we pray for those that are going through. Pray for those that are suffering. And whatever area, whatever part of their lives that are suffering and trouble in there. We pray now, Lord, you give them a blessing right now, Father, that you would just heal, set free, and deliver in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we just give your name the praise, and we just give your name the glory, and we just give your name the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you on this day in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for listening in to the Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church 3835 Whitewater Road, Valdosta, Georgia. Amen. As we get ready to go, our praise team just want to sing a little bit of a song, and then we'll go offline. But look to see you once again on Wednesday night, 7 p.m., and then on Sundays at 10, 15 a.m. God bless you. 
Until the next time.